Hey guys, Stephen here from Heritage Academy. <clears throat> this will be video number three, and this is where we're going to start creating our menu. So this is where I've left it off with the last one. Start messing around with the cube, and obviously rotating it, make it look a bit cooler. I'm going to uh, actually delete them both now, and then we'll start making our menu. Uh, the way we'll do this is we'll create a canvas for starters. So the same way we made a cube, so I delete them both. You want to uh, you want to right click. You want to right click and go down to the UI, and you're going to create a canvas. I mean, it loads in. No, it doesn't take this long. Here we go. Here we go. So zooming out here now, or click on your canvas, clicking F. There we go. This is uh, basically this is your entire canvas. All of your game, your camera screen will be down here, as you'll see. It's, it's over here, your camera. If you go to your game screen now. You can see that it's this is basically showing your canvas, uh, the canvas object. Although the items will work on, will be positioned within the game screen within the camera, sort of thing. So what you want to do anyway? So you created your canvas and you're going to go down to the canvas settings There we go On the canvas scaler you want to scale it with screen size uh, Don't worry about the uh, the reference resolution here And the screen match mode here you want it to match width and height Then we won't, we won't change any more settings now um, in fact, no, the match here will change that to 0.5. So it's about halfway. Uh, then we won't, like I said, we won't change any more settings here just yet. And you've got an event system, don't need to worry about that. We'll, uh, we'll talk about that in a later one. So for your canvas, we're going to right click and go down to UI and add text. Because obviously it's already got a canvas here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you just right click and add a text anywhere, it will create a canvas. Obviously, we've just created our canvas. So, for our text, uh, drop down your layout properties. We want to go down to your overflow here. Straight away, I've just put these both as overflow. This means that even though it's got a little box here, the, the text will fill out as it needs to. So, just for this, we'll call it what we, breakout clone. So, we'll just call this breakout. If you want to spell, I'll breakout clone. Uh, change the size out of them 36 there You can mess around with the font if you wanted to the font style bold all this lot We can make it bold if you want stuff like that. We don't need to worry about that just yet um, Obviously you can look through these yourself and have a look decide what fonts you want all sorts But for this I'm going to align it as a center and then the central and up and down Or the vertical alignment sorry, I mean to say up and down uh, Over here I'm just going to grab the movement thing you can see we're moving it on the uh, on the canvas here, which is actually in the middle of the canvas. All of this is the the bottom corner of the canvas object. To get rid of this, if it's causing any confusion, you want to uh, just drag this out a bit more. See this gizmos option here? Just turn them off if you can. There you go. Just click it. Don't click the menu. Click it, and then you won't see the gizmo anymore. So as well, as you can see, if you notice, as I scaled this, it's moving the position of our text. And as you scale it too much, it just drops out of the screen completely. The reason is the canvas is scaling with the screen, which obviously this is what our game screen here is. So put it to where we want it to be, or better yet, we'll pick a resolution and go 5 to 4. Okay, so that's what we're going to build for. We might change this later on, we can do if we want. Uh, so we position it about here, and then with these sort of windmill looking popcorn things we're just going to use this now this will sort of set its relative position within our um, within our screen so now I'll set this this is basically telling it where it will be so now I'll scale it and all I see it jump a little bit it actually sticks to its position no matter what size screen we make <coughs> Pardon me. so as well over here that our rectangle transform if you want to click on this here where it's got the three boxes, the box within a box within a box. 
and then we want to go here you might you might notice uh, if I click alt the, the symbols change a bit it's basically setting the alignment of it and then uh, <coughs> here it says if you click alt it also sets the position so sorry it's setting the anchor so if you click alt it sets the position and then if you click shift it also sets the pivot so I'm going to go for the center and the top so you can see how that's changed it a little bit so I'll just drag it back down a bit now there we go uh, click on the text one more time and now I'll reset this again so I'll just show you there you've got two options of doing it uh, I'll do it this way it's more of a manual way of setting make sure it stays there whereas this is also uh, more of an automatic preset way because have you noticed when I set it up to the top and center it changed the pivot and everything like that up here so yeah this will be our title and then what we want to do is uh, is add in and now a button so same as before with the canvas you're going to right click and go down to UI and you're going to add a, a button this button's position can be anywhere you want we'll just set it up here uh, about here for now like I said, put it anywhere you want click on the button it comes with the text this is obviously the text it reads on the button so we'll call this one our play game our font style have that bold game if you want set the font size to 24 it looks okay uh, keep it central central if you have it as overflow here yeah if you have it as overflow in here like horizontally left and right if we had play game today it'll like it, it'll overflow out of our set our set size which is the button and also the vertical one as you see it lifted up so with these you want to have it wrap so it wraps in the button so we'll get rid of today as well and then the vertical will truncate it so it stays within the button too and then also just if you click best fit um, it automatically changes the size of the text here which is something that I'm not going to do in this one we'll keep this as my custom set there 24 but that's also another option don't move the text so then click on the button again drag this up zoom in a bit here in the scene view and if you drag in these you, you can see there is a dash line around your button around your object if you want to try and perfectly line it up there so if you do that don't worry about what the button does yet because it doesn't do anything uh, a good practice here will be if you click on your text over here in the inspector uh, we'll just call this title text and then this button we'll come over here and just call it a play button you can shorten it you can call it whatever you want there's no there's no rules you can also call that play button text if you want but because it's inside you already know so if you click on your button now and you click control and d or command and d depending on what system you're on and we'll call this one the options button and again we don't need to name the text over here we'll drag it down it's exactly the same i'm just going to zoom in and change our rectangle a little bit so it fits around our button here and then for the text we'll have this one just say options okay you can obviously you can change the size of it change everything if you like i'm happy where it is there obviously you know you change the screen size it stays where it's supposed to be it does scale the size um but that'll be something that we'll figure out later on because we may not may decide not to use five by four um i actually have got some buttons that i would rather use so i'll show you how to change them up later on as well but for now everything is absolutely fine so for the canvas we're going to call this one main menu and then we will control and d again on the whole of the canvas here so actually maybe call it main menu canvas just just to be extra clear all right so now we've got two two canvases here um obviously maybe you're thinking why have you got two just it's an easy way of having an options menu set up but if you click on the main menu canvas and you just click this button in the inspector that turns it off so that means you won't be able to see it and now you're thinking well you can still see it but as a matter of fact you can you can actually see the second one options menu canvas nope don't know why i spell it like that 
Almost right. There you go. When you open this up, and now obviously you've got your title text. So perhaps you want to just call this options. And then change the text down here to read options. And I'm sorry, we'll call it options text just to be super clear. For the play button, uh, call this sound control. We'll link this up later on to actually do sound control. So in the text, we'll write sound on forward slash off. So you see it's a bit, it's a bit squashed now within the button. Change this perhaps to 22 or maybe even 20. The font size here, by the way. And then for the options button, uh, we'll call this a back button or a home button, uh, which is the main menu button. And then we'll just go back. And that's all you need to do to set up the uh, the menus. Because what you can do, you can turn them both off. So we'll script in a minute, or in the next video actually, we'll do a script where you uh, you have your main menu canvas as you meet your game. And then you'll turn the main menu canvas off, off and turn the options canvas on. So they're both in the exact same position, as you see there. So you go from that one to that one. But one will be off, one will be on. You never have them both on at the same time. I think. And that'll do it for now. Uh, we will also script it. So you click the options button. You can change between the two menus and click back to go back. And then we will also click play game, which will take us to our game menu. So yeah. That will be all for now. Hope you enjoyed this quick setup and join in, well, join in, but watch the next video, which will be the scripting for the menu. Thank you.